Hello, welcome back. Um, getting a bit messy with this one. So this is a photo of myself and Mr Ding at a um, coffee place in Portslavin. They do their own, roast their own coffee. It's amazing coffee. Um, Mr Ding actually had a latte and didn't have any sugar in it. It's that good. Um, I knew with this photo I wanted to do something where I was bringing the colours in from the side of the layout. But other than that, I wasn't sure. I'm watching a video with Sarah and she'd done her um, thing she does with the Nouveau <laughs> where she scrapes it across the page. And I was like, oh, yes. And then that's where this layout was born. Um, so I've got the five distress oxides there that you've just seen and swiped them in from the side, just direct ink to paper and just kind of rainbowish uh, with pink rather than purple or red and then I'm just getting the Nouveau and I'm doing it in a wiggly line so that when I pull it out with my palette knife it's giving a, a wider uh, a wider line rather than a, a thin thinner line if you just do it in a straight line. I um, then bring the photo on and I was going to put it on foam pads and then decide actually I want to back it so I am using I uh, forgot to mention I'm using Toco Vanilla Studio uh, Sunkist and the paper, the reason I chose the, the Distress Oxides that I showed you there are because they um, are good colour matches with the Sunkist collection. I'm using the darker blue there from the collection to matte the photo just because we've both got blue on and um, both got quite dark blues on. I've tore the bottom of the photo mats and I have tore the cloud paper a little bit too short so it just looks like it's the torn edge of the dark blue and just being a little bit longer. I have moved the photo up a little bit. It does add a little bit of texture still. You don't see the clouds poking out below the dark blue but you have got the texture. Uh, I decide I want to actually back this on a piece of black cardstock and I'm just putting some copy paper over there just in case the Nouveau is not completely dried. Um, I don't want to end up with black Nouveau all over my uh, trimmer. Um, oh yeah, it's gone and dropped down on my mat there so I end up spending a bit of time getting that glue up. Um, I know there's a bit of a reflection from that mat I'm using my glass mat because I, I know I'm always in frame if I'm on that mat then. Uh, another tip from Sarah actually, um, when I was trying to put things in shot, like making sure things were in shot when I was on at the crop. Um, so that's why she uses her Tim Holtz mixed media mat is to make sure she's always in shot. So, so that's a really good idea. Uh, you do get a bit of reflection off it, but you get the reflection off the photos as well. Um, so pop the photos there on 3D foam just to give a little bit of height and then I'm going to use these glittery word stickers from the uh, the collection. Um, really fiddly isn't it getting these bits out of your uh, loops and your ears and your what have you. So I do end up at the minute so I've lost one of the feet off my glass mat. So at the minute, my T-square ruler is actually holding my mat flat so it doesn't wobble whilst I'm crafting. Um, but I do have, that's why you see me like it, having to pull it out uh, to get it from being tucked under the mat. So just getting the, the sunshine um, on there and decide that I want to add another word. I did actually want sunshine on my mind. But looking at the letters and, and what have you, I, I thought, you know, I'll just do this sweet sunshine. I thought it was really nice. Kind of goes with the story of Mr. Ding's sweet coffee as well, with the, the latte being sweet enough for him without without the sugar. I've then bringing out the ephemera, so my trusty old glass plate, uh, glass dish there, trinket dish. Um, bringing out the ephemera and just getting, just pulling all the pieces out that I think I might use. I might not necessarily use everything. I just pulling out everything that I think I may use and we are in Cornwall and when I lived in Cornwall we had palm trees in our back garden so I had to put the palm trees on it <laughs> so so pulled them out as well and it was um 
quite fortuitous as well. Sunshine State of Mind there on one of the ephemera. So I thought, you know, seeing as that was quite similar to the title I wanted to use, I had to use that piece. So that's going down there as a, a cluster down the, my bottom right corner, which gives me that left to right diagonal to uh, lead your eye. And then just making up my clusters here with the, the different bits of ephemera. I do cut that sun in half so that I can get it tucked under and uh, use the other half actually on that bottom cluster. I forgot I did that. Um, adding the label up at the top. I think I add a few more bits around that. Yeah, I think I add another word and some, some hearts go around it. Uh, and I pop that up as well on 3D foam to give again a, you know a bit of height and a bit of movement to the page i am wandering off for some other ephemera i actually thought i cut the bits out when i'm wandering off <laughs> i obviously haven't um, my the program actually crashed when i plugged my headset in to, to record my voiceover so it obviously didn't do the backup of the bits um that i cut out so decide not to use those flowers going in the stickers here and, and that's where I get that other word out that I've put in that cluster at the top. Uh, a couple other labels. I do move some bits down so that I've got, you know, layers with different height um, and tucked into the different layers on the mats as well. So it's not all flat and, and one layer it's just something I like to do and then uh, just yeah getting everything stuck and tucked into the different layers as I said just to finish off I don't think I add much more I do go in with my two-way glue for sticking the hearts down I think I think I use my zig two-way glue which I do need to go and crawl around the floor because it has disappeared under my project trolley. Um, I missed my pot when I was pouring it back in and it's now underneath my project project trolley. So I need to pull that out and uh, get that, retrieve that from under there because I do need it. Um, it's either that or open a new one. Um, and then... I do look to adding some of these. I think I add a couple of the little hearts of the puffies. Oh, there's a couple of leaves there as well. So because I've added the leaves, I've then looked to something else to add. So on some of the hearts, I've done kind of like a tone on tone um, with a puffy heart of the same size. You'll notice as well, I have tried to put the hearts on where the strips are of colour. Um, I forgot I've done that actually. So I've got a blue heart on the blue strip, yellow heart on the yellow strip, etc. Uh, there wasn't any green. It was kind of like a turquoisey colour. And then just finishing off now with these um, rhinestones. And that's it. So please, if you don't already, like and subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for stopping by today. I am going to try to get back to being more regular with uploading. Didn't happen for a while after I was ill. But thanks so much for stopping by. Bye bye.